हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी अपकमिंग इनोवेशन एंड अपडेट्स सो लाइक मैनी ऑफ अस वी वर नॉट अवेयर एंड वी आर नॉट अवेयर दैट एक्स पार्ट टू डॉट ओ फंक्शन आर नॉट सपोर्टेड बाई आर वेब ऑटोमेशन वाई इट इज नॉट सपोर्टेड बिकॉज नन ऑफ द ब्राउजर सपोर्ट्स द एक्स पार्ट टू डॉट ओ mostly all of the browsers by default supports xpath 1.0 only so we cannot verify like you cannot verify the xpath 2.0 function directly in your web automation in your dev tools in selector sub and in fact like when you try to verify in selector sub or in dev tools you just get to know that this is a invalid xpath like for an example if i show you that this is the one ends with this function is the part of xpart 2.0 so if you try to verify here it used to say that check the syntax and spelling so by this we uh, we were not able to understand that oh this is a xpart 2.0 function but if you like do the google and other stuff and sometimes like you if you verify this kind of xpart here the actually xpart 2.0 validator which used to work for the uh, xpart 2.0 for xml and all so if you try to verify in those you will get the result here like this so you will think that this xpath is correct then why it is saying that invalid xpath and all okay so you many a times we end up like using this xpath in our script in our selenium script but then what will happen let's see execute this script so i have used a written a small script here with a starts with function which is a xpath 1.0 function and ends with function which is a part of 2.0 so let's execute this script and see what happens executing this script it's opening the browser now it's uh, opening the website first it will try to click on training then we are trying to uh, locate the by recordings option okay so looks like it script has failed here so you see here that script has failed and what it is saying that what is the region that it is telling you invalid selector exception invalid selector unable to locate element with the ex expression this xpath so it has failed for ends with xpath because of like this is a invalid selector fail to execute evaluate on document this string this one is not a valid xpath expression so uh, in nutshell like uh, selenium doesn't uh, like we cannot use xpath 2.0 function with selenium or in our web automation or any web application automation in the web browser and recently i did a poll where like i asked people that can we use xpart 2.0 function in selenium script and you won't believe like almost 88% people said yes which is like uh, this is where like i got the idea that something is we are missing in selectors hub and we should have a feature which can tell us that this is a x part 2.0 function while verifying itself and tell us that this we cannot use it in our automation so that it will be helpful for us okay what should we use so here now with the 4.1.5 version you will get to know that uh, if you will be reading any x path which will be part of, which is a part of 2.0 then selectors of will help you with that and then you will not uh, miss any information and you will not be wasting any time while using those functions in your automation script so this is 4.1.4 where you will not see that correct information i mean not that exact information this is also correct only that this is a invalid x path and check the syntax and spelling so this is the correct information but how can we improve this so that we can understand that this is we are uh, using the 2.0 function so the version uh, with the selectors of version 4.1.5 you would be able to get that exact information that exact message let me update it to 4.1.5 uh, this is this version is already live so guys you can just uh, update it to 4.1.5 and you can use it like here now if i if i try to uh, verify that function here so let's say if i try this one ends with <clears throat> and this is the tilted over comma yeah so here if you try this one so it will tell you that ends with is the xpart 2.0 function which browser doesn't support use xpart 1.0 functions 
so this way you got to know okay this is something wrong this is something which is not supported by browser and this is something which we are not supposed to use it in automation so you will take care and you will not be using this in your automation script and you will not waste any more time as well as you learn this one so whenever someone now will ask in interview as well as like because many a times people ask the, this kind of question in interview uh like they will do this write this x path and they will also write this it starts with x path and then they will ask you the question whether this is correct or not so i hope now you will be able to answer this question as well and you will learn this thing like there are there will be more functions like match function so this way you will get to know in selector sub that match is xpath 2.0 function which browser doesn't support and use xpath 1.2 functions if you try uppercase lowercase these all are the functions of 2.0 uppercase lowercase and there will be many more so uh, we will keep adding them and uh, adding the support for that in selector sub so now this will help you to learn this concept that xpath 2.0 function doesn't support browser browsers doesn't support the xpath 2.0 functions and you, we we are supposed to use xpath 1.0 functions only in our web automation script so i hope this will help you guys a lot to learn these new concepts uh, this is uh, not a new concept i would say that the concept you would be able to learn and uh, now in future you will always answer correct and when you will use this function in your automation script you will be aware about that okay i'm not supposed to use the uh, 2.0 functions like uh, in automation script so that way it will be helpful for you and this will again save a lot of time because many times people used to uh, like just using the that function in automation script is it's failing and then you are going to stack overflow in multiple places let me just show you that stack overflow so many people have asked this these questions that this is not working and with is not working for me i am using this function in uh, so that's where like people get answer uh, answering the question so right away you can get the answer in selectors hub itself and you will not face any challenges like many people ask this expert if i search for this one here so you will see that so many like 238 results so many people have asked this question and wasted a lot of time that this x path is not working for me then people answer there that 2.0 is uh, <coughs> 2.0 function doesn't support the uh, selenium so use this one 1.0 functions so this way like you will get to know that okay what i'm supposed to use what i'm supposed not supposed to use so that you will not uh, waste any time like ends you can read it here ends with is a standard x part 2.0 function only so uh, what to use what not to use now you will not waste time and you will not have to uh, go here and there directly you can learn from here itself and you can verify so i hope this will help you and it will help you a lot to save time as well as learn new things thank you and you want if you want to learn more about such concepts like how to write better x path how to good uh, how to understand dom and all you can join my training live training here also like if you if timing doesn't suit you you can also uh, take the recordings so this will be like very helpful for you to become expert in xpath selectors web element dom etc and this will this training will help you at least improve your productivity by 40 to 50 percent and this is not just not the like expert training this is beyond that you can check out the feedback from the people here those who have attended this training so this is like uh, just a very helpful training for those who are a uh, beginner in automation and if you feel you are in you are advanced expert in automation then also this will help you to, a lot this training will help you a lot okay so thank you so much guys for watching and uh, really appreciate your support please share uh, selector sub and let uh, others know about these uh, incredible innovations so that people will uh, in our industry will learn the right concept about selectors xpath etc and they will not be missing anything with that thank you please like and subscribe the video and let others know thank you thank you so much for watching thank you